Good morning, Diedrichs and Dolphins. This is Mr. Thaxton with your morning announcements. Today is a really cool holiday, actually. I am wearing my red for Ed because it's Wednesday, and that's what teachers have been doing to show our support for public education. And I even have my really swell red for Ed face mask that I can't put on one handed because I'm clumsy. Anyway, today is a holiday called National School Support Staff Appreciation Day. That's a mouthful. What the heck is that? Well, National School Support Educational Support Staff Education. Whew, that is a mouthful. National School Support Staff Appreciation Day is all about celebrating people that work in schools, but not necessarily the teachers. Although teachers appreciate being appreciated all the time. Now we're talking about all of the people that make the school run so well. And we're talking people like Miss Andrea, the secretary, uh, the clinical aid, Miss Linker. We're talking about uh, the computer aid, librarians, and and custodians. Oh my goodness, people that keep this place clean. Well, I'm a little cluttered, but that's not that's not their job to clean up after me. But you know, the messes that we really don't want to be cleaning up, they do it. We're talking about teachers' aides. You know. The people that come in and they work with you one-on-one -on -one if you don't understand something or you need a little extra help, those people are amazing. Now, if you think I'm magic, these guys are really magic. And I'm pretty magic because I can do this. Or that. Whoa. Whoa! What just happened? Oh, that's weird. Did I mention our, our nutrition services workers? Our lunchroom workers? Yeah. Oh my goodness. They do great work. And you can support them by getting a free lunch. It actually helps them out. It's amazing. So here's my challenge for you today. Just write a little thank you note. Just a note of thanks. You can go on the website and you can get the email of everybody. Teachers, support staff, admin but look at the support staff and just go down the list and go hey, here here's here's a teacher's aide here's one of our custodial staff here's here's one of our office staff drop them a line and just say hi <laughs> i appreciate what you do for me i appreciate what you do for me let them know you're thinking of them on today which is national school support staff appreciation day i said it i said it and let them know you're thinking about you. No. <laughs> and let them know you're thinking about them. Oh, let's just get to the announcements. Okay, so all this week we're having caps for cans. I got my swell cap on. Keeps my head warm. If you bring in a can or an item of non-perishable food for the Food Bank of Northern Nevada, you get to wear a cap all day at school. Pretty swell. Also, next week is Thanksgiving. Be thinking about what you're thankful for. I am thankful that next week is Thanksgiving break. So there will be no school from the 29th through the 25th. Nope. Reverse that. The 25th through the 29th. Blah. Also, this Friday the 20th is superhero villain dress up day. Dress up as your super favorite superhero or your favorite super villain and bring a dollar. And now please rise for the Pledge of Allegiance. I guess that means I need to stand up now. <laughs> and begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. And now for a moment of silence. Be thinking about what you are thankful for. You know who I'm thankful for? I'm thankful for Dolly Parton. I just read a news story that back at the beginning of April, through a friendship that she had because she had gotten in a car accident with a do and the doctor that treated her was a researcher at Vanderbilt University in Nashville. She became his friend. And over the course of years, they would chat and talk about things and realize that they were both, you know, they both grew up as poor kids in the mountains. She grew up in, in the mountains of Tennessee and he grew up in the mountains of Lebanon, in another country. 
and they both became successful people here in the United States. Well, back in early April, Dolly Parton learned of what he was working on, and that was coronavirus research. And she said, this is a big thing. So she wrote a check for $1 million, and she gave that to Vanderbilt University for their work on coronavirus. It turns out that the work that that money enabled was able to make one of the vaccines, the Moderna vaccine, available so much faster, like 10 times faster than ordinarily would have been able to be. So thanks to Dolly Parton, she did a lot of good. That is so cool. That's who I'm thankful for. That was kind of a long story, but I'm still thankful. And that is our daily affirmation. Say it with me. I am thankful. All right, do it again. I am thankful. It's true. I'm thankful for a lot. One last time. I am thankful. This has been Mr. Thaxton with your morning announcements. Make it a great day or not. The choice is yours. Peace.